What's cracking big dogs? Welcome back to the studio. Welcome back to this is now going to be called the contaminated dungeon. You don't have a say in it. Shout out to Action Bronson. Honestly, Max, fuck you for not liking that song. A Light in the Attic, goat song. I actually took that as a personal attack that you didn't like it. You guys, honestly, I'm sorry. I'm starting out on a rant right here. I don't know why, but Do it. we need less. You guys are too white. You guys are just too white for me. I mean, I offended. need more cultural diversity. What? You're actually the whitest person I might know on planet Earth. Wait, wait, wait. It, You're a mix between white and orange. Is that supposed to be an insult? Um, Not an insult, but you took it as an insult when I said that you guys are really I mean, white. Did you? Well, listen I was to just the a song? little dumbfounded. I didn't expect that to be the first words. Well, you know what? I, like I said, I, I took it personally because you didn't like the song, and it's a beautiful song. I mean. It's called it's a light. Not my style. It's called a light in the all. attic. Did you like it? I didn't listen to it. It's so called a light in the attic. To it. Action Bronson samples Billy Joel on on that album. And it's it's a beautiful it's what? a beautiful song. Listen to a light in the attic. And he's if, gonna dislike him even more now. You guys are so he disrespected Billy Joel. Exactly. No, so. Action Bronson does him justice. You ever seen Billy Joel live in concert? We are now accepting applications for two new podcast host members. <laughs> uh, if you're white, you are not getting the job. <laughs> so don't think about it. Anyways, this is the Christmas episode of the Town Get Down recap. Wet bandits. We need uh, <laughs> that. That's actually pretty good. That's all I have. So. We're gonna start this off with a a poll or a vote. We need you guys to drop a comment down below, letting us know who has the best sweater. We're gonna run by yeah. him. Well, I mean, that's crying Jordan. So, I'll buy him for this. Yeah, well, the greatest Christmas movie of all time. Easy, easy win. No, with our audience, Nick's gonna win. I think so. Because they're not all white. Oh my god. They understand culture. Oh my god. So they, why? They understand pop. But you don't. I'm you going probably, to see the I'm going to see the Rolling Stones in June. Bro, I went to uh, <laughs> I went to Steve's Christmas party this weekend, and uh, someone one of his aunts asked me if this was I, I wore this, and one of his aunts asked me if it was Martin Luther King. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> she's cultured. Of course, yeah. I said Did you yes. Say yes? She's yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, you have to say yes. All right, so this is the Christmas episode. We are in a good mood, and we're filming this during the daytime, which is not not like us. We're it's usually yeah. Nick's usually getting out of work. Max is getting out of work. So the energy levels are a little bit lower. Today is going to be fucking straight fire out the dragon's mouth. A great episode on deck. But since this is the E-Town Get Down weekly recap, we have to recap the championship game. Quickly. Just very, very quickly, quickly. Cause we don't give a shit cause we weren't in it. Fantasy season is over. AKA anxiety season is over. Dang, do you guys actually oh. feel like a, a weight has been lifted a little 100%. bit? I do. A little bit. I feel I, I feel like alive. I won a championship yesterday. I don't um, care about your other. I, I don't either. I don't. I don't either. Um, but I could not be Congrats. more thankful that I'm done with this bullshit. The fact that I don't have to do a waiver wire video today <laughs> is fucking that must be nice, tremendous. Yeah. I'm already a season and a half into Entourage. Life's going good right now. We'll bring up the matchup real quick for y'all. R.I.P. Slami Sam is George. Took that. Oh, he sucked. I'm retired as Joe. He took the dub. He is our E-Town Get Down round 10. 10th anniversary champion. Congrats, led Joe. By, yeah, yeah, yeah. Led by McCaffrey, Jamal Williams, Baker Mayfield, the top scorers on the day. George just was a fucking miserable performer. He was picking up guys like Alfred Blue <laughs> off the wire. C.J. Ah, C. Anderson, C. Anderson, had Anderson worked for him. Had a day. But where George's problem went, he started, he started talking shit after the right? Titans – had that miraculous pick Make six. Sure you focus in on that Philip Rivers 3.34. Fuck you, Steen. <laughs> that was justice. Love that. That yeah. was yeah, that's funny. That that really came full circle. That I was have, that was justice. I have it screenshotted of him sending the uh the message about, you know, talking about shit about my quarterbacks. And sure enough, what does he do? Even though Big Dick Nick showed up for him. He did. Indeed. Yeah, he did um, big time. But it's funny. This is two years in a row now. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. This was the first year. Going into the year, Joe was the favorite based on his, he had the extra his second draft round pick. And the year before, Beach was I give I give Joe favorite. props, though, because you know what? All those early round picks, so he had three picks in the first two rounds. Right. Yes. Barkley. He, he hit on all three. He McCaffrey, did. Barkley, and Julio. It's, Joe, easy. it's easy to bust on one of them, Joe but did. he hit on all three. So props to Joe. Shout out, Joe. Fuck you, Joe. Yeah. And uh, that's about all I want to do with this recap. What? I did want to touch on CJ Anderson just to get on to my point that running backs don't matter. They um, do not. Yep. Please don't tell me that, though, as my franchise players are running back. So <laughs> You love Saquon Barkley, right? I do. Nothing personal there? Uh, uh, <laughs> we won't, we won't get that. into that. <laughs> oh, uh, 
weird segue. But all y'all Emerson people, I know we're getting a lot of love from from the Emerson crowd after uh, Snacks' all-time rant last week. Hmm. If you're from Emerson, bro, and you are supporting the show, one way to do that is obviously just hitting the thumbs up button below yeah, and, up. and dropping a comment, whatever. It helps the YouTube algorithm, so however that shit works. But if you're listening via podcast, please drop a rating and review. I would prefer if it was a five star rating and review, but any Be honest, honest critique we'll, would we'll take whatever. I you think we're do. at ninety eight reviews. We need like two more to hit a hundred in the iTunes store, all right? Oh, and okay. then we're fucking cooking with the big dogs. So that's a way to support us. Just drop any kind of engagement, any uh, any kind of feedback helps us and and motivates us to be a better person than we were yesterday. It helps us be better for you. Exactly. Yeah. Help us help you. So that's the recap, and we're gonna move into some more NFL. Yeah, cook me, baby. We're actually going to have... You ain't the only it's motherfucker. It's the holidays. You have to share. Yeah. Um, nah. We're going whiskey and cookies, baby. That's the drink of choice. I'm eating all the donuts I was going to save for St. Nick tonight. Do you have donuts? I've eaten, I meant cookies. I've eaten five donuts within the last like two days. Yeah. Pass them around. Don't eat them all. Should Match I dip it into soft. the whiskey? You guys dare me to? All right, yeah, fine. No. Since you dared me to. Not dare. Just do it. It's good. That's good eats. Oh, God. It's good. Is it, you make sure it's nice and soggy. Bro, that's fucking that's repulsive. No, 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 no. I'm a repulsive motherfucker. That's good eats. Mm. All right, he's doing it. Oh, describe it. <laughs> <laughs> little monster, chug it down. No? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> go, man. <laughs> oh, is it not good? That was good. That was good. Yeah, I, I want you to do it again. I want another one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We're in the Christmas spirit. Things that's are getting. Right. Freaking naughty. I'll tell you what. Freaking freaking naughty. I know, I know what I'm doing for one of my fucking candles later. White Goodman coming at you. <laughs> we were getting... Oh, fuck. I have another. I thought I already ate the second one. Fuck. Um, we're going to talk about NFL playoffs. Dude. Oh, man. And we're going to talk about the odds of winning the Super Bowl and just talk about how we see things playing out, even though there are a million scenarios still up in the air about what could happen, what teams can make the playoffs, who can make a run, all that shit. We're going to pull up the odds for you. And I'm going to pull up the odds from Five Dimes because that is a great betting site. Probably actually paid my way through college, to be honest with you. I went on a, went on a four, four year hot streak, pretty much. And uh, since then, it's been all downhill in the betting world. The odds on favorite is New Orleans. On here, they are. Talking about Super Bowl? Super Bowl odds. Super Bowl odds. Yeah, I don't want to get into the playoff matchup because there's just so many possibilities yeah, right yeah. now. Too many variables. Yeah, I was really looking forward to the Colts getting in, but it doesn't look like they. Uh, it's Yeah, if they win, they have to beat the Titans. That's it. Straight How up win. Straight up winning in. Well, they're, they get in over Baltimore? Baltimore's uh, in the. Their Chargers, Chiefs will. The, Char- the division. Steelers lost. Oh, fuck. Mm. That's what right. I'm saying. It's crazy right now. Yeah. Wow, the Steelers are. Baltimore's the division leader right Maybe. now. Maybe. Steelers need to win and Baltimore to lose. Yes. If Baltimore wins, Steelers are out. That's going to be such a sick match on Baker Tennessee against Lamar Jackson. And Indianapolis right? winner mm-hmm. gets in. Wow. And Mariota's, I don't know if he's hurt. It's going to be, it's gonna be the some Colts are gonna crazy kill the shit going on. Um, Wow. Oh, no. Sorry. I have my text popping up my top right. And. Tell them. I don't want to tell them. This is <laughs> this is too much. Maybe <laughs> maybe when we've re- uh, when we've developed like a a longer deeper relationship, we can get into those personal Some things. More trust, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't really trust you guys right now until you hit that hundred mark on the ratings and reviews. Anyways, um, so the Saints are the favorite right now. They're heavy favorites because they're going to be the one seed, and you're going to have to go into the dome. The Chiefs at plus five hundred. The Rams plus five fifty. Patriots are the fourth highest odds second in the AFC at plus 640 so there's the top four teams that aren't really spread out that wide the Saints happen to be the heavy favorites uh the lowest on the totem pole here is the Titans at plus 7200 where do you guys see the value if you do see value anywhere on the board are you throwing money down like actual physical dollar dollar bills do you have the Seahawks there the Seahawks are sitting at plus 3300 that's my pick Right there. That's where the value is. Uh, like, Plus 3,300. Can we have some sort of analysis? <laughs> nope. I don't give analysis. I just give you my picks. It's going to be the Seahawks. Plus 33. I just like the value. And I like the Seahawks the way they look. They've, they started off you know, a little shaky, but now they've got it together. That run game is ridiculous. Russell Wilson is like a Swiss he's Army so knife. Good. I, he's so good. He can do it all. Him. Unreal, man. I feel like he's just throw. severely underrated. He really oh, is. Oh, for sure. Then, like, and think of the weapons he has. He has Who is he fucking throwing to? Jerron Brown? Well, I mean, look at Doug Baldwin now. Doug Baldwin's back. That he, changed everything. Yeah, three straight Doug games Baldwin's with touchdowns. Legit. He's legit. He just doesn't get enough credit. Wow. Look at that analysis. Doug Baldwin is legit. Yeah. Thanks. You're like eight years late on that. 
Well, I mean, he was hurt all season. Now he's back. Now he's he, now he bike. You know, now he bike. Man, Chris wrong. Carson, the man I believed Chris in him. Chris Carson's a, a Mac. He, what do you think happens? Stud. What do you think happens next year with Chris Carson and Rashad Penny? Because you know they're going to do some shit off season. They they want to use Rashad Penny as their I fucking know. first round pick. I know. Like they're going to yeah. fuck that up somehow, and they're going to make it a, a by committee running back. But like, dude, Carson Carson's is the really guy. Good. He's the yeah, guy. He's really I mean, they'll good. They'll probably get rid of like Mike Davis and those other guys. And Mike Davis. Penny they got like six guys between McKissick, Davis. I was just going to say, I saw McKissick. They got some carries. I thought he was dead. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he was. He resurrected. He has like a new leg injury every other week. So they have a ton of running backs in the roster, but if they just feed Carson, the god, things usually work out pretty well for them. Yeah, I just like the way they're playing right now. I do. You can't count out a guy like Russell Wilson. Yeah. Man. And Pete Carroll, he knows what it takes to get there. He's been there before. I like his. He's a good coach. He knows what he's doing. He does. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of things to like there. I, uh, I like we were talking about right before the show. The Eagles are plus 6,600 on this list. That I I mean that kind of screams value. I know they're obviously not the same team they were last year, but with Nick Foles Big running the show Nick. with Is BDN, hot, they're a good team. I feel like to just chuck up ten bucks on it, you get six sixty in return on it's, that. It's got like this, this Foles magic. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we started it's the conversation. We started the conversation last week. Like, oh, uh, you know, if, if Foles keeps playing well, they're gonna have a controversy. Like where, what happens now? It's full blown. They get in the playoffs. They win a game. I, I mean, what, what do, you do you do? do? Yeah. Like, what do you <laughs> what do? What do you do? I picked up Foles in one of my dynasty leagues. Unfortunately, it's a one quarterback league. So it's like, I already have Andrew Luck. So uh, when Foles is strapping on the big blue helmet next he, year, he might throw be going to Saquon in the backfield after we trade Beckham for some picks and some cap relief and build the lines. And okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just, uh, I agree. You. I'm ready to be good again. I'm 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 ready. I want to take the next step forward. Make snacks great again. Make yeah. snacks great. Give me another ring, all right? Hey, relax over there. Yeah, not chill. not everyone can fucking have a, a ring, let alone three rings. If another three one. Rings. I told myself you, you do. Yeah. Stop. Like stop. I feel like you weren't a Broncos fan until like four years ago. Well, I have three rings. You don't have three rings. No, you Bron don't. Ninety seven, ninety eight, Super Bowl fifty. Right what year were you head. born? Nineteen ninety. Shit, so I guess seven years old. This doesn't that. fucking like. I watched it in my living room. But in, I don't in, think you were a Broncos Emily. fan. Does anyone believe we that? We can't Max, confirm. I had that a Terrell you were a Davis fan. jersey sitting. I was sitting in my. Living I have room. a Pat Tillman jersey in my closet. Doesn't make me a Cardinal fan. Love that. If you don't believe Max, hit the thumbs up button because I don't believe him. I don't believe him either. I'm gonna hit that thumbs up button down if, below. Unless you show us proof right. of you physically watching the game, like video proof. Like I'm, I'm throwing no, my. You challenge mean like a, like flag. a home movie? Yeah, home movie something. Anything. Yeah, I want a home movie. I'll I want a selfie. Parents. Or something. Ask your parents. It. Is where, what are you looking at in terms of Super Bowl uh, odds? <laughs> <laughs> could you... This goes against everything I believe in. Um, everything. But there's two teams that I would like you to throw the odds at me at. Could you give me the San Diego... Well, the Los Angeles Chargers? 1350. I don't know how those odds are so high. Uh, they didn't... Baltimore smacked them in the mouth on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um but they're not going to have home field. They don't need home field. Their home field is literally an away game for them anyway. Yeah. Um, I love their I love their defense with Bosa and Ingram rushing the quarterback. I love their run game. They have good receivers. Phillip Rivers, do we trust him in a big spot? Mm. He's, I don't think he'll lose you the game. He has the upside to, to put together that last drive, which a I lot also, of guys don't. So. Yeah. I also think I wear more in the back of his mind, he knows yeah, agreed. this might be his last and best chance to finally do it. Eli's done twice, but Ben's done twice in the same class. Yeah. So I like those odds. That's I think that's good value. What about the Colts? Colts are plus thirty-seven fifty. I think that's terrific. I, I, I yeah. feel like that's kind of ridiculous that they are double or half the odds of the Titans and the Eagles when they actually have to still go. They still have to win. They still, they still have, to win. have to go to Tennessee. Yeah. Right? They're in Tennessee next week, I believe. I believe so. They still have to go to Tennessee, beat them, yeah. and they still have the Titans are plus 7,200. The Colts are plus 3,750. So they don't only have to go there, beat them. Maybe the odds are factoring in the fact that Mariota might. the might. fact that they think that the Colts are going to win that game. and they'll, they'll I, be I don't think there's a chance in hell they, they lose that game. Getting, what was it, plus 3? 37 50. 37 50. Andrew Luck is my quarterback. I like that. That defense too. is, they played like shit yesterday mm -hmm. against the Giants. They, they literally uh -huh. played like shit. Well, maybe the Giants just played great. I don't know. <laughs> Eli looked good. Probably except, except the former. Throw, except that last goddamn throw. Yeah, so I, see, I do see value at the Chargers. I see value at the Colts. Um, I like the Eagles. What did you say, Max? Seahawks. Seahawks. Hate that. No, nah, I like the Seahawks too. Uh, if uh, Of the top four teams. A $50 bet on that when you 16.50. Of the top, yeah, we know how to do math over here, <laughs> motherfucker. There's calculators on our phones. That. It's a great bet. <laughs> I didn't know either. I was like, thank you for that, Loki. Uh, of the top four teams, who would you be least surprised to see holding the trophy at the end? Saints, Chiefs, Rams, Patriots. Patriots. 
Least surprised, Patriots. Least surprised. Least. I don't. I don't care what is going on with them. I'm sorry. I agree because the NFC teams between the Saints, the Rams, the Bears, like I feel like those are really tough teams to come out of on top. Yep. But the Pats really just have to beat. I guess the Chiefs and and the Chiefs. And, I just think Andy Reid chokes these, and here it comes. An, Andy Reid will be one and done. The Rams will be one and done. These are hot takes, by the way. Easily. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. I don't trust them the way they've been all. playing. Jared Goff. Jared Goff's a scumbag. He's a scumbag. <laughs> yep. So the but least yeah, surprising honestly, would be the Patriots. Honestly, I, I think I might pick the Patriots to win the Super Bowl. I'm rooting for a for a Brady. Like breeze. they the, realistically, their value like plus six forty. That insane. shouldn't be plus six forty. It should not. It like, should be like you, plus sixty four. How do you not yeah. put money on that? Yeah, it's kind of it's ridiculous. New England Patriots. It was anybody about the Patriots? And you're seeing how their quarterback is playing. Josh Gordon just got cut, or not cut, but he's you know he's off the team. And Gronk, can't Gronk move. is yeah, Gronk, Gronk is, looks dead. Gronk, Gronk is basically dead to that team yeah. right now. So if those were happening to a team that wasn't named the Patriots. I feel like Vegas would give them no shot. No, no. You know what I mean? Like, the odds would be 10x that. You know, Vegas obviously still respects them. Thus, you got to respect them, man. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a growing disrespect between two people in the NFL right now. Unfortunately, we can't debate this team because they are officially out of the playoffs as far as I'm concerned. And I'm talking about the Cleveland Browns. And I'm talking about Baker Mayfield. I'm talking about Hugh Jackson. Beast. Now, if you saw the clip... Yesterday, Baker runs by the Bengals sideline and he stares down Hugh Jackson, looks at him. And it wasn't like a, a quick look. It was like he a, stared him. down. It was like a, he walked by him, stared at him. Metal. And once he was already past him, he did like a degree turn. So we went like 130 degree the other way as he was going around and looked at him and like stared him down. And it was like, OK, Baker, we understand it. Keep looking at him. Keep looking at him. Mean mug him. Keep me mugging. Keep me mugging. Don't crap. Yeah, stare. Just staring at him. Staring at him. OK, Makers, you don't fall. OK, keep looking at him again. All right, now I'm going to turn around. I'm not going to look at him again. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, now it's good, Hugh. Do you want my fade buster? I'm Baker Mayfield. I'm going to cry in the car. What could have happened behind closed doors for this to have kept going on? Like, I understand Baker doesn't like you, but mm -hmm. now there's been like press conference remarks. There's been like the whole thing at in the middle of the field when yeah. Baker kind of like shrugged him off after one of the games. So this is becoming like a constant theme, right, between Hugh and Baker. And I understand like, okay, he was a shitty coach and he kind of like fucked your team up for a little bit. There's one thing for that to happen. And there's one thing for Baker to like keep going. You think there's like some shit behind the scenes or do you think that Baker's just like super fucking immature? Uh, I think it could be a little bit of both. Yeah. To be honest, because... Baker obviously wasn't the most mature in college. Um, really? What makes you say that? Uh, you know, just a few things. Running away from the cops and getting... That video's fulldosed. fucking priceless. It's awesome. That was so it's good. It's so great. I kind of sound like Colin Coward, though, because he's like, oh, I wouldn't draft him because yeah. there's a video. I'm, God, I, draft I hate him. He took a hit. I hate that guy. Can me? He, he took a hit and got up, man. Fuck that. Stud. But no, I don't know. Whether Hugh, like, touched him in the shower, I, I don't know. Ooh, um, aside from not giving him... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't know. It's no, it's an fine. assumption. I don't know. Like, he's clearly could've, annoyed at Hugh happened. Jackson. Is it because he didn't practice him with the ones until, like, week two? I, I don't know. Is that really... Is he really going to harp... But for you to make a fucking... Is he really harp on all that for, for letting you know a veteran I mean? like Tyrod Taylor, who he's trying to win games with? I, I don't know. There's got to I mean, be something else that happened behind the scenes where why, he, like, lied to him or, like, he did oh, yeah. some shit. Well, that's why I brought up the touching part. It was pr probably not that. I don't think Hugh's that type of man. I honestly, I missed that when you said it the first time around. And I picked back up. You're like, sorry, I don't know if I should include included that. And in my head, I was like, fuck, what did he say? I'm going <laughs> to have to re-edit this whole part. <laughs> Might have made sense. I feel like Baker's a grown man and could probably handle that on his own. I would um, think so. There had to be some kind of, like, yeah. no, but what you deception said about, or like, whatnot. Not getting the refs with the ones. I think that could easily have something to do with it. Because when he came in, he didn't have a chance to compete for the job. He didn't. Tyrod no. was the starter. <laughs> yeah. That was it. So maybe he was a little pissed. Like, listen, I'm first overall pick. You're not going to let me fight for a job? There's been plenty of bad coaching that's happened in the NFL, though. There's no reason to, like, make I mean, it a bigger yeah, deal. Yeah, and I think, I think that's pure immaturity. I mean, yeah. Hugh Jackson had won one game in two years. You bring in a quarterback that just brought his team, a pretty crummy team, to the playoffs, Tyrod Taylor with the Bills. I would probably start the veteran quarterback to try and win some games. I, I mean, agree. I, don't I feel think like it's crazy. I feel like what happened this it's year not crazy. was like kind of best case scenario for how Baker got into the lineup, right? You did yeah. want to have Tyrod get in for a couple games to see. You never know. We came out of Buffalo and there was like two sides of it. He sucks as a quarterback or like, yo, he really led this shitty team to a playoff scenario and he he deserves a chance with good weapons, a yep. good team around him to see what he could do. He got, what, three or four stars before, was it even that? Was it like, uh, I think it was I think it was like week three, week he got hurt three, against the Jets. Yeah, yes. like week three or whatever, he got hurt and, and Baker went in. So it was like, okay, listen, there was like two, and he won that game. So it was two weeks. I understand that Baker might have been able to make the difference. Yeah. Would he have beat Pittsburgh in week one? Eh, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Probably. I forget. Oh, no, you can't say that. You can't say that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I feel like the way he went 
when it is going at Hugh Jackson is really corny or there was something else that went on because but like, from our eyes we don't know what went on behind so we can only tell what's going on in front of us yeah. and the facts that we do have and I think enough like do you want to I think keep, enough's enough do you want like, you want it you say enough is enough I like, think do you want to keep enough. seeing this shit between I, no, I'm done with it I mean as a as a, I love no, it I think it's I think yeah. it's great but yeah. I think as a professional, he's got to stop. Well, okay. I, see, I like Baker a lot. I want so him do to I. I love succeed, Baker. So I want him just, just I'm focus really happy on, for Cleveland. on your game and do what you got to do to win. Yeah, that's the worst part because exactly. he's like the up and coming you, face of the NFL. You don't, yeah. you don't need to do this. Yeah. Hugh Jackson's literally fallen from coveted head coach to disgrace. Just see, you win, see, you win, Baker. Just Hugh let it Jackson go. is he's terrible. He's no he's good. But coach. he's not getting enough credit. For Just doing how what bad he did, he is. no, for for starting Tyrod when he probably should have had them compete for the position, because then it, I think it lit a little fire under Baker's ass, gave him the chance to come in during the Jets game and play hero, and his career took off from there. Yeah, you know what? So I, you want to give credit to Hugh Jackson for that? Yes, not like seriously, but yes, in theory, inadvertently, <laughs> in theory, yeah, because he's so bad. What he actually did was actually it's like someone good. who's really funny, but is only funny. Not trying to be funny. Yeah, essentially. Like everyone laughs at them, but not with them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's Hugh Jackson in a nutshell. Like, okay. If any rookie on that team should be pissed at Hugh Jackson, it's Nick Chubb. When did he? I mean, what was that? Week six before? Yeah. He really the fact over? that he sat behind Carlos Hyde this entire on. time. Nick Chubb has been unbelievable. Yeah, there are yeah, some no, really questionable coaching decisions going on in Cleveland this yeah. year. Yeah, and um, that kind of we were talking about this before you came in. You got to roll Greg Williams, right? I think yeah. so. I if think you, so. Fire Greg Williams, you will still be the Browns. You're just going backwards. You have something good, you're just gonna fuck it up. The personnel is there, man. I would be super, that, that, super duper excited about that if I'm team. A is, fan, that man. team is there. You, and I if they trade for Beckham, oh dude. I don't see how you could do that's gonna happen. Change anything. I, would love it. I didn't even was that a rumor no. or a report that came out? It was a ru- it was a rumor. That's not this happening. was early in the season. Oh, I remember yeah. that. I remember because I was excited because that was right after they got Jarvis and Jarvis yeah. and Odell are obviously. I don't boys. I don't th- I, I really I really think that Beckham doesn't want the Giants, and Giants don't want Beckham. I really think it's at that point. Yeah, I feel like it is too. They had to make, they had to sign him because I think they were going into the off season, or they were going into the season. They they just weren't, you know. I think they needed some good juju on their side, bro. Eli's going to be the quarterback in twenty nineteen. Of course he is. I know, hundred yeah. percent. Why not roll out Kyle Luletto, whatever the fuck his name is, for week seventeen? I mean, I think it's just like too far ready. at this point. On Giants Twitter, that's what everybody's screaming about, but. We got to remember he was—he's a fourth-round pick, mm-hmm. and he played at a D two school at Richmond. I yeah. mean, throwing him into the fight, he legitimately might get killed. So and last week I'd let him play week seventeen, playing for nothing. Yeah, I mean I would too. But other than he, your jersey, that's like all he'd be playing for. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would love that if they fucking <laughs> right? fired him up. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I but I agree. You have to see. This is the same thing that happened last year. They didn't see what they had in Davis Webb, and then everything just went. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to make Nick cry. We're actually going to take a break here. We're back. Snacks, <laughs> Snacks has used up all the tissues. He's done crying about Kyle Loletta. Loletta, and we're going to dive into a new segment today. We're going to let Max kind of take the reins here. And uh, what do we have a name for it? What are we calling uh, it? I mean, for now, we'll just go with like who said it. Who said it? Who said it? And on this edition of Who Said It, it's going to be featuring. Chris Hansen, the famous, uh, I don't know, what do you call him? How to Catch a Predator. How to Catch a Predator guy, we'll just say that. Versus Scott Hansen, who we all know from our lo- beloved NFL football. Red Zone. NFL Seven Red hours Zone. of commercial for you football. Yeah. Football. Dude, he says the witching hour so fucking he's, much. That's on, like his go-to. I hate that. Beast. He loves it. It makes me really he's upset. A beast. He is a beast. He's like a fucking robot. I'd love to see him drunk. Is uh sorry, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> when I think of Chris Hansen, when they're like, oh yeah, he's like how to catch a predator. For some reason, I'm always like, is he a predator? Like, is is he? Is he, he a creepy might be dude? Closet. Uh, no, he's not a creepy dude. He's, he's not a, weird. He's a fucking American hero. I'm not really sure what. Yeah, but so was like Michael Jackson, and it's not one of mine. He's one of mine. Love MJ. OJ Simpson was one, is one of mine. He's a football hero. So basically, how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna read a quote that was said by either Chris Hansen or Scott Hansen. Or tweeted or whatever, however I found it. Nick, we have never before seen these quotes or heard never. them. This is the first time. God's honest truth, swear to God. Yeah, we will I did never not tell ever them. lie. I spent hours searching through Twitter, finding these and just screenshotting tons of tweets. What we're going to do is I'm going to read it twice so they can really listen and think about it. And then uh, what they're going to do is hold up on the piece of paper. If it was Scott or Chris, whoever gets it right will be rewarded one point. Pretty simple. What do you guys play along at home if you want. Guess along. What does the winner get? Loser has to take. Double shot of that whiskey. Ooh. Loser will have to take a double shot of the Johnny Walker red. Ooh, red. I'm not doing that. What the fuck? Don't fucking lose. You have to. 
disagree to it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> Shake it. Shake it. This is what I do for you scumbags. Yeah, it's official. All right. Game on. Keep the papers on your lap so you, neither of you can see who's holding up what. All right, Chris is the creep, right? Creepy Chris. Chris is the They're How to Catch a Predator creep, host, creepy, and but, Scott yeah. is the NFL Red Zone host. Scott's so, a, ironically, Scott's probably creepier. Probably. Football. <laughs> Some of these, you know, I also just want you to think. Now, remember, Chris Hansen, these could be stuff that he read from a transcript that a creep wrote on an internet chat. So this could be anything Chris Hansen said. Max. Just keep that in mind. Max, we get it. You ready? Do it. Okay, first one. Okay, guys, this is it. Let's close strong. Okay, guys, this is it. Let's close strong. Oh, man. Count it down. We'll flip it up to the camera. Three, two, one. We both went Scott. Both went Scott, and that happens to be Chris. Sorry, what? guys, no points. It's going to show up on the screen, so they'll see it. It was Chris Hansen said it. That's bullshit. He was talking about Hansen vs. Predator. His show was starting. Okay, all right. Close strong. I thought that was going to be like, like the, the, the final at, at the, the end of the clock games. At the end of the episode, I don't think I've ever watched How to Catch a Predator. At the end of the episode, do they they actually like catch the predator normally? They catch tons of predators. Is that how they close it out? They're like, let's close it out, and then like a SWAT no, team catch, runs like, in the house. They catch multiple predators from each. Uh, they've had two predators coming at once. They had to throw one out the back door, arrest them, and the other one came in. Wow, that's I've, fucking epic. I watched hours of this. <laughs> I watched <laughs> hours of. Love that. All right, it's a good so, family tradition if you're looking for something to watch yeah, on Christmas. Oh, big time. Let's do it. Next question. Next uh, next quote. It's not a question. Yeah, next quote. Tom Coughlin, Michael Strahan, and the Mara family. Class acts. Tom Coughlin, Michael Strahan, and the Mara family. Class acts. Are you sure I didn't say that? <laughs> Impossible. Fuck. This is so hard because now I'm out thinking myself. I know. This is ridiculous. It's, it's like, ah, oh, shit. Let's go. How many do you Just have? Hold them up. You, I feel like the Zach Galifianakis meme right now, doing the math in my head. Uh, All right, put yours down. Let's see it. Scott. You said Scott. Fuck. You're both wrong. It's Chris Hansen. What the f Wait, he's a Giants fan? Um, I don't know. He just beast. might have Chris, been happy beast. at this moment about the Giants. I psyched myself out because so I was I. like, he talked about football, so it's got to be Scott. But yeah. since he did that, he knows we're going to go the Shut other way. I and then I'm like, wait, yep. then he's double fucking with Completely us. Completely outsmart myself. You're getting, right. This is fucking mean. No, I'm not, I don't I know if I appreciate in, this. I put these in a specific order. It took me a pretty good amount of time to figure okay. out the way to do it. Okay. Here. So next one. Oh, fuck. I'm nervous. So, so mind. sorry. Tech problem here in New York. So, so sorry. Tech problem here in New York. Oh, fuck. Um, wait, hold on. You got to do the. You got to do a countdown right. to yeah, put it up yeah. because you I don't want to see with his. Yours, I already saw it. I didn't see what it was. Okay. Uh, fuck, I forget where he fucking reports. Scott, Scott, Scott. It was Chris. Jeez, fuck, dude. Christ, dude do you have any Scott quotes in here? <laughs> I just put them in a specific order. That's you all. Fuck. Wait, where they, aren't? What? Get, all right, Jesus. I feel like they're out Christ. in LA or something. I think so too. But whatever. Go. Honestly, I was okay. going. I, I thought so. The score is still zero zero. You both suck. How many quotes are there? I got like eleven or twelve. Love that. Let's go. We'll be. There'll be enough. I'm so, so next one. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Me too. We had an entirely too long discussion in the newsroom on this today. Conflicting statements and evidence abounds. We had an entirely too long discussion in the newsroom on this today. Conflicting statements and evidence abounds. Three, two, one. <laughs> You're both right. Yeah! <laughs> I was going to say, we're just going to keep putting <laughs> that was, That's exactly what Scott I was doing. <laughs> right. That one literally made no sense for Scott to say either. That's why we knew it was Scott. We know you, Max. You're so easy to agree. We know yeah, you. We'll see. You know you, and we know you know that we know you. Air Goodman you coming it? at you. Did you get Did it? You get it. Okay, next one. So impressed with poised Detroit Lions QB Matthew Stafford. So impressed with poised Detroit Lions QB Matthew Stafford. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, give, it's me, fucking give, tricky. Me, give me a second. Nope. Count it down. Three, two, one. You got both got Chris. Oh fuck! You're both right. Oh thank God, I meant to yeah. right. I meant to do Scott. I thought really? I was holding oh, Scott. To be honest with Come you. Come on. Fuck yeah, let's go. Oh shit, this is nauseating. Oh, just want to. It's better be lucky. You're gonna than put good. these on the screen. I want to point out. I um, oh. I left the comment in here on this tweet. Somebody wrote, "Where's the Kickstarter rewards, dirtbag? <laughs> or are they just like you, washed up and forgotten about?" Someone just doesn't like Chris Hansen. I just thought it was hysterical that they wrote that. <laughs> really? Yeah. God. He had a Kickstarter for something. I guess he didn't give the rewards. <laughs> and someone's calling Chris Hansen a dirtbag, so. He is. Love that. All right, next one. This is so bizarre. This is so bizarre. How are you going to fucking do that quote? This could be anybody in the whole world. Yeah, but. You're you just throwing out about, randomness. No, think about the people here. It's Chris Hansen, Scott Hansen. They both have specific jobs where bizarre things happen. For some reason, I thought like titties were going to make their way into this conversation. I tried, man. I don't think you did. There's no, no shot you did. You're, you're so PG, it's ridiculous. Okay. Count it. 
Three, two, one. Wrong. Wrong. It's Chris. Have we had his, the same exact answer every time? Every single yeah, time. pretty Epic. much. Let's go. Let's keep these rolling quickly. That's just, that's just how good our chemistry is. Okay, next one. Untouchable. Like when I was a boy, boy, we'd play Army Special Forces or Cops and Robbers, and we'd name the characters we'd role play. <laughs> Snake Lee would have been an awesome one. When I was a boy, we'd play Army Special Forces or Cops and Robbers, and we'd name the characters we'd role play. Snake Lee would have been an awesome one. Uh. <laughs> 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 you like that one? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> shut up. All right, three, two, one. It's gotta be Scott. <laughs> it is Scott. Yeah, that, was, that, was just, that was too weird and creepy <laughs> for it not I to have been Scott. I was just thinking to myself, thinking to myself, this weirdo just behind that desk saying that. He always says the like the most abstract, like ridiculous oh, things. I was hoping you would think it was like Chris Hans, Chris Hansen reading like a transcript from some fucking sicko on the internet. No, this is Damn. just. I was like imagine. I was laughing so hard because I was just imagining him saying. I that. thought I got you with that one. Remarkable. All right, never. So we're tied up at three three. Oh, two two asshole. No, I no, didn't, you put, both this, got that I one didn't right. put the one on that one. <laughs> oh, I only, I only go up on the scoreboard, so. Gary, Jack, and Jim Nance at Masters. Doesn't get any better. Go Tiger. Gary, Jack, and Jim Nance at Masters. Doesn't get any better. Go Tiger. Three, two, one. We both have Chris. Fucking A, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> man, this is so unreal. Pissed. He's so pissed. It's going to come down to the did. last one. And we, we, by the way, we cannot see what we're putting up so if you think we're lying we're, we're not we are i am you can see me i'm a liar and a thief is there a mirror no there's one all the way oh. behind. i can't like we put them up at the same time so why we do the countdown all right ready this one's short 10 minutes exclamation point 10 minutes ready no. three no i'm not oh fuck <laughs> two one put it up oh, i switched last minute i used switch damn it it's right <laughs> let's go five five how many questions we got left? Like three or four. Three or four left. All right, let's go. Dude, this is this is. Oh. In, instead of you know talking about like fantasy championships that we should be in, we're we're doing this, and yeah. it couldn't be any any better. Same. Thank you, Max. All I right, might so, just do this every week instead. What's amazing is how this spun out of control. What's amazing is how this spun out of control. Three, two, one. Both have Scott, and it was Chris. <laughs> oh, shit, really? Man. Damn you, Christopher. What's amazing is it spun out. I want to know what the circumstances are for all the ones that are Chris, because I just imagine, like, something crazy happening. Yeah. Like, what A could have spun out of control? with, like, uh, Discovery ID, like, TV shows, like, Killer Instinct. It's all murder shows and shit. <laughs> so I, I guess okay. murder can spin out of control. You okay? Let's go. All you're, right. You're thinking about that whiskey, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How about the incredible work of cameraman Jamie Knight? How about the incredible work of cameraman Jamie Knight? Who is Jamie Knight? What do I know? I know who Jamie Knight is. I think this might be our first differentiating one. Three, two, one. It was Chris. No! Oh! Let's fucking go! No! Woo! No! 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 He's talking about a cameraman on the no! show, I guess. No! I, no. That was the one that was going to get somebody. No. Huge. Huge. How many we got left? Two left. Fuck me. We'll see what happens. Excuse, mm. I mean, Sorry, we need excuse my language. I know I cursed a lot. I didn't mean to. Let's go. I'm amped up. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I just said I was. Feels good to feel so small. Feels good to feel so small. Three, two, one. Fuck. It was Scott. Good. Whatever. As long as we died, baby. All right. I've got some extras here, too. Oh, good. We need them. Wait, wait. Just hold on. Case. No, we need to set them out so we know when it ends. Extras for a tiebreaker. Okay. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. But it doesn't look like there's going to be a fucking tiebreaker. Fuck me, dude. There's only two of us, so. <laughs> Could get someone. 18 degrees. Going to be a brisk run this a.m. 18 degrees. Going to be a brisk run this a.m. Three, two, one. Chris. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you mother. You mother. All right, so we can't end on a tie. 6-6. Six, six. That is huge. That is a clutch gene. That's Eli Manning, Super Bowl. F which one? Fuck. Fuck. 42 or 46. I'm going, oh, I'm going to Atlanta right now. Huge. Throw me a, throw me a cookie. Toss it. Just throw, throw one up into my mouth. Okay. 
That really wasn't a great That throw. was going to hit my mic. Another, another one, a little higher. All right, so we're tied up. I have enough to break oh. the tiebreaker. <laughs> that was so close. What did you say? I have enough where we can do it so we can get to finish this tiebreaker. Should we just do suicide? Whoever gets the next point? Yeah, that's fine. Next point wins. That's sick, by the way, that you have enough to do it. I have so <laughs> And she says, please watch over me. And she says, please watch over me. You ready? Oh, my God. No, I'm not ready. I'm fucking scared. I'm fucking ready. I remember this quote. All right. <laughs> no, you don't. Three, two, one. You're both wrong. Uh, it doesn't matter. If we it get the was, same uh, one, just keep it running. Well, now, see, here's the thing. That was actually a quote from Hanson, the band. It was one of their song lyrics from <laughs> the song called Watch Over Me. You're a piece of shit. So there's really no chance either of you getting that one. What What if one of what you know the first names of any on. other guys? Uh, it's uh, Taylor, Zach, and... This has to be a fucking fake news. My sister was a huge fan, I remember, when I was you growing up. You have a sister? Up. Yeah. Where is she? Brooklyn. How old is she? Zam. It's five years older than me. I don't know. Did you know I had a sister? Just my type. Five years older than Max. Um, <laughs> We're going to keep moving to the next question. Does she look like you? Yeah. Mwah. All right, you ready? <laughs> Max is moving quickly. All this <laughs> stuff. You ready? No, go. Next one. Tie my breaker. dad is Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> my dad is Chris Hansen. <laughs> okay. You ready? <laughs> Fuck no. Uh, I'm Google psyching it. myself out here. I, I want to Google who Scott Hansen's father is. Don't do it. I'm not going to. It's cheating. All right. Three, two, one. You're both right. I feel like he was probably Chris Hansen Jr. That's, and that's, referring to yeah. Zam. I actually don't even know if his dad is Chris Hansen. Just something he wrote with a hashtag, five words to ruin a date. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep going until someone wins it. I'm 6'3". He is 6'9". I'm 6'3". He is 6'9". Zam so fine. I've never seen Scott Hansen stand behind outside of that uh, that desk of his. Shoot. I've never watched How to Catch a Predator, I don't think. Three, two, Fuck. one. You switch it up on me. You got it right? Fuck! Chris Hansen is 6'3". He's a big dude. How is that Scott not going to be... Scott Hansen is 6'1". How Sorry. is that not going to be... Scott looks so tall. Like he looks lanky and tall, and and I believe you. And he's talking. Oh God! And he's talking about fucking <laughs> nice six dance. nine people. He deals with people that are tall all day. Big know, pro athletes. That was the whole point. It was so easy. It was not easy. This is bullshit. I've eaten two whiskey cookies. <laughs> You're gonna be my... hammered when you go home. I know. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, just unplug this real quick so I can. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this enough? This? I'd, I'd say I feel like that's more what? than enough. But yeah, more than enough. I mean, we're not gonna take it out. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up. I think you're 100 percent gonna throw up. That, you don't you don't take shots of that. I do. Okay. Yeah, you don't take shots of that. This is uh, this is for. But we don't do normal things on this, this show. This is for Scott Hansen. This is for Chris Hansen. This is for the Hansen brothers. Can we? Can someone get the Hansen brothers bumping right now? Yeah. What do you want? Mm bop. Mm bop. I mean, that's mm -bop. like the mm bop. I'm gonna throw up. Zach Taylor and Isaac. That's sick that you know that. My sister was a fucking huge fan. Okay. Your sister. Yes. How old is she? Where does she live? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's to y'all. Ooh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't? Don't do it. Why? Do it. Do it. Ugh. Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh. Woo! My family's not going to like me today. <laughs> I think I just breathed out smoke. Can you see that? Ugh. <laughs> Good for you, man. Oh yeah! Red label. That is more fun. That legitimately hurt me watching that. I'm so happy I won. <laughs> I'm yeah, oh, so I'm happy so happy I, I was won. just hosting it. I didn't have to even take a chance on that. That's, that's scotch, my friend. Buddy, it's worse. <laughs> good segment. We need we need some more of a uh, loser take shots. <laughs> who were? Wait, what was the? Uh, who said that? Who said that? We'll think of another name. Yeah, we should not, do we Booger or Jason Witten. Just Booger, and then read like sentences from dictionaries. Do the same thing. <laughs> but we should do no, no. Was it said by Booger or was it in the Bible? Mm. You gonna read the Bible and go through all that? I've read the Bible. I'm not gonna. I've literally read so the Bible big. from page one really? to the last page. Yeah, you that's just come, you just pulled a fucking steam comeback to get into the playoffs. There. Oh, that shoot. was crazy, actually. Yeah, you were down. Shoot. Good for you. It was nice up one, two questions left. <laughs> pulled it back, went into OT. Fucking, it was like you were down 74 points last week of the season. Jesus Christmas. Yeah, man. Well, you know, no pun intended. Winners win. Yo, that was bad. That was good. Good and good for you. That's what I love about that kind of whiskey. That was painful to watch, but yeah, I hurt. respect our I respect our leader for doing it. Man of his word. Yeah, you. That was more than I thought you were gonna do too. So. I might have pushed out if I lost.
Are you serious? No, I wouldn't. I'm no, you can't. I, I probably would have taken a bigger shot. I would have just screamed the whole just time. Chugged the whole bottle. Yeah, whatever's left. Yeah, probably. Buzz. I like think I might have a slight buzz. Like, <laughs> I, I'm I don't, I don't no drink. Joke. I don't drink like you I used to. Underestimate those two cookies. Shit is no joke. The two cookies probably <laughs> soaked in a shot each. <laughs> yeah, dude. They don't. I'm like four shots deep in a 20 minute period. Guy. Since we're feeling frisky, since we're feeling thankful, we're gonna end this show with uh, a little ceremony. We're lighting the menorah. Listen, I know it's Christmas time technically, and Hanukkah had already passed, but we don't discriminate here. That's why I'm hiring not only not white people going forward. What is? What are you going to throw in there? Well, I was just going to say, Max is really Jewish, so I think this is a good... And it's He's really Jewish. Well, yeah. Really, like, really As Jewish. opposed to Jewish people. Like fake Jewish? No, I'm, I have nothing... I, I guess that makes fake. sense because I'm, like, technically, my mom's Jewish, my dad was Catholic, yeah. so I'm half Jewish. Yeah, you're not really yeah, Usually, no. Jewish. Your, whatever your mother is, is the... Yeah, I made confirmation you know. just so I could play on like, the church basketball team. Uh, assumption. I dropped 18 the first game after. Yeah. Really, did you? Yeah, I got, like, baptized, confirmed... Communion all in like the dropped same 18. one hour period. Dropped 18, wow. fucking hit the wow. strip club. Ouch. I got Man. thrown off that team, the Assumption team, in like sixth grade. So. I was just Oh, you were racist back then, allowed. too? I'm not. Oh, are you <laughs> kidding me? That is ridiculous. How'd you get thrown off that team? Like, you didn't make the team? No, I made. I, dude, I was a three point sniper. So, why'd they kick you off? I butted head with, heads with the coach. <laughs> How old were you? I was oh. in seventh grade, so 13. Like the Odell of Catholic basketball. Button heads. Yeah. I like and then that. I took my talents to uh, rec basketball, Volano. But yo, rec basketball is the goat. It was awesome. Oh, oh, I won Good three three-point challenges and two free throw challenges. Really? I haven't missed a... I haven't, since, that, since that challenge, I'm sorry to get into... I haven't missed a free throw in about 10, 11 years. I don't believe that. We need to set up. And you know what we need? We need a uh, one of those mini basketball hoops that you can kind of just like put on the door. Oh, and, like, yeah. Do we challenges those like that. At work. I'm just fucking... Steal instead that. of calling people all day, Steal you that. throw it in there. Steal it. Steal it. No, I can't do that. It's okay, that. so we're gonna be lighting the menorah, and we just we just want to say thank you for the continuous support that you guys have shown, you know, throughout my channel for the last few years, but as well as the podcast that we've kind of put together over the last month, month and a half. A lot of positive feedback, and let me tell you, man, I know the fantasy season is wrapping up, but we are literally only getting started. Yeah. Next year we'll is gonna be going. a fucking monster of a year. So, for y'all, yes, this is let, totally gonna fall off. You have so you have to light the middle one. And then take the middle one to light the other one. I told you he's really Jewish. And the lighter's a little. This is this was a brand new lighter prior to week fourteen of fantasy football. <laughs> Max. <laughs> there we go. These aren't those. Uh, these are birthday candles. I was gonna, they're gonna say, burn really fucking quick. But are these like the ones that like? No, the, they're like eighty four cents. They're not like the trick candles that don't. Uh, they're not trick candles. You know the ones that like spark and you can't blow them out. I think that's some kind of hope. I think this is a really respectful thing to do and say, um, so Max. We, we celebrate everything here. Max, uh, I guess I'm going to speak for both of us, but on a serious note, all the nice comments that these people make about us, Nick's loyal fan base, it means a lot. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are a fucking awesome fan this base. Makes me so nervous looking at him. You're also, dude, they're all <laughs> like, <laughs> like tilting right towards the So when you like area. drive by a house and you're like, how is that tree standing up, no. you know? And it's like, it's at like a 64 degree angle that way. The candles? Oh, man, this is good shit. I wish I was, like, cool and could, like, spit the fire, like, alcohol at it right now. Oh, yeah. Yo, we have, like, right literally the perfect oh, alcohol it. for I it. I know, but, pour like, it. you want to pull this fucking place up? <laughs> Let's burn this motherfucker down. Uh, yeah, honestly, thank you. You guys are the GOAT fans. Yeah. Y'all are a little bit fucking crazy sometimes. And Love that, though. But that's, well, look you know, at us. You that's need the that. demographic look at us. we want. We're looking for the craziest you need people the, You out need there. the cult type of following. You need yeah. a cult nowadays, you know what I mean, that are, like, die hard. They will, they'll literally kill for you. Yes, yeah, so I have a couple people that you know just in case i need them killed uh, you guys i'll call you know what i mean like you're like four weeks into this and you probably have stone cold fucking killers in your dms already and you don't even know it Mm. so imagine i probably have an army i'm like fucking Genghis kong oh yeah you know what i mean you could storm this castle right now they might be outside this is a castle no this is the contaminated dungeon baby the contaminated Contaminated dungeon dungeon. i think apparently that was that action this place must be disgusting it's fucking disgusting look at this we have wax dripping all over the bottom of the table (laughs) yeah so we just wanted to say thank you my first thank you goes out to eli manning because without eli manning we would not have had the rant that (laughs) went on last week that was one of my top favorite pieces of content that's ever been put out on the channel probably my favorite on instagram of all time (laughs) shout out to scott scott you're the goat editor by the way yeah um very much appreciado of the work you've been doing thus far you've been doing a phenomenal job editing and i know we're literally going to take over in 2019 it's scary thinking about it honestly it's kind of petrifying for everybody else the competition yeah i I feel feel bad bad. too 
Yeah, once we get our shit together here, I mean, I my mean, shit's together. Who knows when that's gonna my fucking happen? My shit's not together at all yet. You uh, ever get your shit pushed in, man? <laughs> I can. All, I'll find a way to bring it up on every. I will pig, piggyback off the thank you to Eli Manning. I would like to also thank him for all he's done for me and my family. Little do you guys actually know what he's done. He um. He's won two Super Bowls and he's oh made me a made man. I there's he's made nothing, you a made man. There's nothing else in life that I want or needed and he delivered. If I died tomorrow, I would die happy. But I'm not going to die tomorrow. You'd be so lucky. I'm going to gun for a third soon. And I want it to be Eli. So bring him back. Bring him back. Yeah, and just uh, to continue, thanks. Uh, obviously, thank to you for uh, you know eh. allowing us to do this. This has been eh. so much fun just eh. getting it started. And uh, everyone that's listening, watching, liking commenting please continue yes. and uh, we'll continue doing what we do and uh going into next year i'm just happy to learn my life is still gonna go on even though i suffered a crucial <laughs> loss in fantasy football i get to wake up every day and continue breathing even though i shouldn't i'll tell you what man <laughs> cliches they're looked down upon but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger man oh by far it's a big cliche but it's 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 except it's, i feel a little, it's a big fat a little it's a, dead and it's it's a it's a big fat. It's so right. big. Like I, I think we need a different name for big. I think we need a different adjective. It's so big. Gargantuan. Bigger than big. It's a bigger than big facts only. Ooh, that's wow. fucking. That might be the title of the show. Bigger than big facts. Bigger than big facts only. Yeah. That's out of control. That might not be good for SEO. Purposes. There's no. There isn't it's even too, a word for it. That's why we have to go with that. Bigger than big. Bigger than big. My God. Mm. Wow. My God. What are Jewish people's gods? Allah. When you say God, no. like, do, does every religion, does every group of peoples say like my God? I think so. I think the Jew, I think the Jews' God is, is, is George Costanza. Uh, <laughs> you know what? George they probably Costanza. have a lot of humans that I feel like they would maybe Larry consider David. Gods. <laughs> well, Larry David's a good one. What about Chris Hansen? He's got to be Jewish. Oh, he's hundred percent. It's a goat. I think Scott's Jewish. He's six three. He's way too tall. You know what? Jewish. Speaking of True. speaking of Jews, honestly, they're the funniest people in the world. Think about it. Like they are. Adam like, Sandler, like Larry. If David, you get one that could like make hysterical. fun of himself for being Jewish, yeah. they're, they're on point. Man. Seth Rogen, like they're all hysterical. That's True. Good point. Hollywood is run by Jews, man. What happened to you, Max? Really fell off the schneid there. I didn't get uh, any of that. Funny, no, it's just because you're not Jewish. Jew you're love. not Jewish enough. Yeah, I'm a poser Jew. Um, Nothing worse in this world I, than I, a poser I was, Jew. I haven't been a Jew since I was 13. <laughs> you go full Jew. Yeah, it's just like a Broncos fan. Had a bar mitzvah. And you took like, your rings and you. You had a bat mitzvah, a bar mitzvah, huh? Bat mitzvahs. It's two for different girls. things, asshole. Uh, Girl bar and guy. mitzvahs for a boy. Well, I only went to one bat mitzvah, so that's, so that's what I thought. They I went were to a bar mitzvah. That shit was popping. Yeah, it was oh, crazy. It was a lot of fun. There was like one of those yeah. those tanks where you go in and they shoot the money up and you try to collect the high score and shit. Oh yeah, yeah when I, I saw, fucking was horrible. When I, saw, <laughs> when I saw them put the put the girl on the chair and, and the, the you lift they lift oh, you up. Oh, and they lift it up. I thought that was that's a Jewish thing. Yeah. Oh, and they go Yeah. Should we cut it? I think that was I don't good. know. Um, ended, ended on a song. So we're very thankful for y'all. And if you enjoy the episode, as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We will be doing this every week, if not double time in the off season. Multiple times. We'll a week. figure out the uh, we'll figure out the schedule soon. If you are on the podcast, that shit is actually making me That's nervous right a little bit. My, uh, we're gonna can't really, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Oh yeah, you got pancakes. Juice, on there, <laughs> Jews uh, sweat a lot. They I'm do. They're sweating. nervous, man. Someone's always stealing their money. We're gonna leave you with that. <laughs> Rating and review. We love you. Bye. Peace.